Hello friends that live within the internet. My name is John and in this video I will show you how you can create a website using Next.js and we'll also host that website using the Netlify. So within about 10 minutes we're going to build a production ready website fully hosted. Anyone in the whole of the world can access it using a URL. Super simple, it's going to cost you nothing. Now the great thing about this and the whole point of the series is you don't need to know JavaScript at all. I'm going to show you everything you need with this video. I said 10 minutes, it's going to be very nice and easy. I think it's pretty exciting so stick around and watch it. Now if you haven't come across me before, my name is John and I do a weekly YouTube videos on web development and productivity. So if you like that sort of stuff and you want to be an absolute legend, then hit that subscribe button, hit the alert button, hit anything that you want because I would very much appreciate it. So assuming you do that, let's get on and start building this website. Okay, so let's kick things off by creating ourselves a new directory. So if we do a mukta, and we'll just call it next app. Perfect. So now we'll change our directory to our next app. And then we'll do a npm init. And then we're going to have all the bumps. So package name. Yes. Whatever. Yes. Whatever. Yes. Whatever. Yes. Whatever. Yes. And then click yes. And then off we go. So this is creating our npm package for us. Perfect. So the next thing we're going to do is a npm install. And the thing we'll need to install is next. We're going to have to put in a react. And we're going to have to put in the react dom. And then if we hit enter, off npm goes. It's going to the package library. And it's installing everything for us. Beautiful. OK, my package is finished installing. And I've opened up Visual Studio Code. First thing we've got to do is configure our project. So as you can see, I've got my package.json and we've also got this rather useless script. So what we're going to do is mug that off because it doesn't really do anything. And we're going to put in the ones that next needs. So to run our site in dev mode, we're going to do a next dev. Now to build a production site, we're going to need a build command, which is going to be a next build. Now, if you want to do a static site generation using Contentful and a Jamstack, which we want to do later on, we're going to be doing the export. And then we're going to do a next export. Finally, we're going to need to run the server potentially. So we're just going to do yeah, next and then start. Beautiful. OK, so because we're using a next, we've got a load of cool things. So first, we're going to have the fast refresh, which is hot reloading. So when we make a change, our, uh, everything's going to update, including state. That is nice. We've obviously got the uh, static site generation, which is what we want for our Jamstack website. We can also do a server side rendering. We're not going to use that, but it's useful, it's useful to know. Also, we've got automatic compilation and bundling with red and um, barrel. And the another nice thing about uh, Next, which is really good for people who are starting React, is that we're having all the routing and everything done for us automatically. So to create our first page, all we need to do is create a folder and we're going to call this folder pages. Now this is a special keyword in next and this is going to hook everything up for us. And in here we can just do our index.js, the perfect tool. And then in here we're just going to create a normal React component. Now all we can do here is just do home. Actually, let's do that. Let's do const home equals this equals arrow and then we're going to return some json or some uh let's do this so a div closing div and then that's uh, it should be a oh, bracket close bracket and then let's try and run some image let's do a image source equals that and then let's do a save now what we can do is go back to our terminal so open up our new terminal and to run our site we just do a npm run dev and off it pops now as you can see here the site is starting in a localhost 3000 and this is what we'll use to access the website 
Okay, so looking at our website trying to launch on localhost, you can see we've got this error and that is because someone in this video is a bit of a nitwit and that someone is me. Looking at this error right here, you can see that the default export is not a React component and that is because someone forgot to export our component. So back within our next project, all we just need to do is an export default and then we're going to do home, we're going to do a quick rebuild it just in case it doesn't work or it takes ages do a quick refresh and hopefully beautiful we've now got ball out walking us and this is basically our next js website up and running so this is really cool because if you're trying to learn react and you're trying to build a website you don't really need to worry about all the routing or how everything works all you can do is simply get this project install it create a pages folder put a component in there and then next is going to hook everything up for you Beautiful, right? Next, what we're going to do is add everything into Git and push it onto the GitHub. Then we're going to host our website for the whole of the internet using the Netlify. So this is super simple. It's going to take us about three minutes. So let's crack on. We like it super simple. So the first thing we should do is create a Git ignore file because we don't want to be checking in a load of rubbish into our files. So what we're going to do is add in node modules and we want to add in the dot next folder next we just need to do a git init then that will create our new git repo we do a git add now we can do the git commit m and it's the first commit oh yeah now let's go to the chrome open up my github as you can see here i've gone to a new create a new repository and then i'm just going to call this like next dash boiler plat boilerplate so create my repository now i just need to copy this little line here oh, that was not a very good highlighting effort so the one which says git remote add origin we're going to copy that we're going to go back to our visual studio paste that in and now we can do a git push origin master and off it goes so now if i do a refresh in here refresh as you can see my files have been pushed up so now we will add everything in the netlify now just to make sure you can follow me along at home I've just gone to appnetlify.com i'm signing in with my github account as you can see here clicking on it this is going to auto sign me in now as you can see uh, right here we've got this new site from git that's nice so i'm going to click on that from here i can pick the repository that we have just created so that was called next boilerplate which is down the bottom here yes you can see that nice for the moment we're just going to go with all these default commands so npm run build and the alt directory and then we're just going to deploy our website now when we're working with the netlify it will automatically create a url for you and the url in this case is going to be wizardly rosalind 2316 now i don't know about you i am never going to remember that so the first thing I do is change the URL so you can customize it. So in this site settings thing, click on here, click on this change site name. Now from here, you're still going to have netify.app, but we can change it to something a bit nicer like next. Uh, boiler, uh, if I can spell, boilerplate, HTML. Hopefully this name hasn't been taken. Boom. And as you can see now, my URL has been updated. Ness. So the next thing that we, I normally do is add my status badge into my readme. So as you can see right here, we have the ability to display a badge in our Git. So what we do is click on the copy button right here. Now go back to our Visual Studio. I'm going to create a readme. So readme.markdownmd. And then I'm going to do a status. I'm going to then copy that in. And then I'm just going to do another git add and then a git commit. First commit again. I don't care. I'm crazy. And then git push origin a master. And then off it goes. Now, if we go back to our GitHub and then do the refresh, what will happen is you can see we've got this sweet badge now. And I quite like that. Nice feature of uh, Netlify. Very simple, just copy and pasting. Now, hopefully, my site will have built. So if, oh, there we go, it has built. Beautiful. So as you can see, we've created our next boilerplate HTML. Just clicking on that link will give you the URL. And this is our website now 
hosted and published to the Tinterweb for anyone to see. Yes, if you go to this website, Next Boilerplate dash HTML Netlify app, you will be able to see this website yourself. And also that Next Boilerplate you've seen is on my GitHub, so you can go through and download that yourself. Ness! Our website is now being hosted for anyone on the whole of the Tinterweb to be able to see. However, we have yet to optimize our build for production. Now, because we've just got a very simple website, it doesn't really make a difference. However, when you're building proper projects, this step is key, so do not forget it. Now, at the moment, we're hosting our website as a React application. What we want to do is convert it into a static site, and we can do that with Next.js using the export command. So we will configure Netlify within our application using this thing called a Netlify TOML file. So Netlify TOML. So to configure the build pipeline, we use this build command. And then to specify what command Netlify will use, we type in command. So first we do npm run build. So this is going to create us that really nice optimal production ready JS. And then we're going to do a and, and then we're going to do npm run export. And the export is going to convert things into HTML for us. So the next thing we need to do is define our published directory. So by default, this is going to be out. And then all we need to do is save this. Next, we're going to push this. So Netlify will build it for us. So we're just going to do commit this and then git push origin master and off it goes so now if we look within our netlify hopefully if we go back to our deployments as you can see right here you can see we're building beautiful now one thing while it's deploying i should talk about the deployment settings so in here remember that we used the default settings earlier i've deleted these now However, what we're doing is using that Netlify TOML file, this is basically setting these um, build command and publish directory. So this is what that command and publish thing is actually doing. Now, if we go back to our deploys, I'm hoping that this is going to publish. Oh, perfect. Looks like this one's built. I can see some little sparkles. And then when we refresh our website, hopefully we should see exactly the same thing. Amazing. So what we've done now is converted it from a React application to a static site. And this is how the Jamstack works. So we're gonna be using our headless CMS. We're gonna convert everything into our static site. And it's gonna be blazing fast because this is now being served on the edge network. It's being distributed globally across the world. This is lightning fast. It was simple to set up. I told you this would blow your minds. And I hope that you are like me and find this really cool and beneficial. And that concludes the end of another video. And I hope you found some great value in there. And I hope you're agreeing with me that setting things up with Next.js, Netlify is super simple. And this really is the first step of how we're going to create really powerful and really cool Jamstack powered websites. So what do you think? Please leave your comments below. I'd appreciate that greatly. So what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to hook up our website with a headless CMS, Contentful. So what we'll be doing is setting everything up in Contentful publishing that into Next.js, statically generating it and pushing it up to our Netlify website. It's going to be super cool. So tune into that one. If you haven't already, don't be a plum. Click that subscribe button. Do it now before you forget because it's easy to lose content on YouTube. I do it all the time. So hit subscribe and be a legend. Otherwise, if you want to do me a massive solid, hit that like button because like basically tricks YouTube into sharing my video to more people. Otherwise, I hope you had some fun watching this video and you learned something from it. Hope you have an amazing day and happy coding.